It's been a long time since I posted anything to the old YouTube, so what I'm going to do is uh, assist anyone in basic CAD moving a point. So what I've got here is I'm going to select these endpoints for the, uh, the yellow jacket and the uh, tarantula wing, and we are now going to view that from the left side and this is aeronautical settings and we see our little red dot here and I'm going to move that 1 16th of an inch for our height and coming on up to our distance marker 0, 0625 enter and now viewing excuse me guys viewing from uh, our uh, isometric here we see that uh, end point with the uh, the root and our length of 7625 on our uh, <sighs> center to mid dihedral panel and length of 6.218 yeah that's stretched a little bit it was 28 125 but because of the triangulation now it's stretched a little bit longer so anyway now what I want to do is find the lengths oops I forgot to put our original line down end point and then parallel Come on, lock on there to zero there, pal. Parallel, long X. Okay, we'll go back to the top view. Oh, that's right. We're going up along that, aren't we? Okay, I'll just do that. And my data is... At 625, change that to a zero, delete those extras, apply. Whoops. You can tell I'm a little out of practice. So now, what I'm going to do is, this single line, is 0625. Watching this little block right here and intersect to intersect zero five four intersect to view from the left side and I will take this guy. And, that, and then I shall take those three lines, viewing from the top, and now I'm going to do a rotate along the x-axis at 90 degrees. Option to copy, like that. And then, I'm going to uh, come on in and run some dimensions. So, 
let's go with some standards here. We'll go from our origin endpoint and grab a hold of that. Bring them up to there. And now I'm going to shift to verticals. And I'll go there to there. Grab a hold of him. Oops. Edit, undo. See if I can grab that vertex. And, yep, there we got him. Okay, now that I've got the dimensions here, Let's go and set this puppy up for uh, uh, printing. There's been a lot of people that have been having hassles setting up for print for the TurboCAD Mac uh, program, which is the same engine as the SolidWorks engine. So now we go into File, Page Layout. And going into our standard uh, 8 by 11, we'll go fit selected and overlay drawing in preview. So there we have that. And then showing a page break in the drawing window will give us that effect. So undoing the show page break in the window. And then we go on over to our page setup and now I rotate that to 90 degrees like this scaled at a hundred percent even though this uh, office jet 7610 does 11 by 18s I'll go fit to area and aligning center and one more time showing a page break. Printing OK. You have selected preserve annotation sizes. This will maintain the printed size of the text, dimension, and arrows. So that should be big enough to read. And I'm going to say yes to that. And now I go file print. And then I go to save as a PDF, and there's our preview looking totally tasty. And save as PDF on the desktop. And saving it. Now, let's go and do a different file page layout. When we go into page setups, we go US letter. Now this is inside the preview app, manage custom sizes. And here I've got all kinds of other sizes, two meter wing, paper size 64 by 36. So let me say yes to that two meter wing. And I'm gonna say yes, two meter wing, and we're going to set it up standard say OK and there we have it align the center and there we have that showing the page break and I'm telling it OK we see there's the page layout for the uh, a two meter wing which would be both panels so once again let's go into that file page layout Page Setup, go into Manage Custom Sizes, and there I have all kinds of different sizes set up for different types of drawings. Going Cancel and Cancel, and I'll cancel that one. And now, 
we'll take a peek at what I have up here. And there we have our expected uh, preview coming along. And returning on into our drawing, we'll uh, keep all of this information for later. Thanks for viewing.